What's up, Lee Genius? Welcome to another video. We have a new AMD software adrenaline update. This is 25.2.1. And with this, it does bring some new game support. As you can see here, Civilization 7, Avowed, Monster Hunter Wild, and like a Dragon Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii. And it does fix some issues, as you can see here with Spider Man 2. And also some issues with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and a lot of other games. So you'll notice in this update when I do showcase Spider-Man 2 that it does fix that annoying pop-up that comes up in the beginning of the game. But this one is one that you would have to download from their website. So you just go here and you hit download and you'll see it downloads for you right there. I'll post the link in the description if you guys were interested in downloading this one. But once you do so, you just go to your downloads folder here and you should be able to see it. So you just double click it and it should install. So once you install it, you should get this pop up and there is going to be an error that pops up. But that's OK because it's supposed to happen. So once you see the oops, you then want to open up device manager like you see right here. Next, you want to go to display adapter like you see right here. And then you want to go to AMD Radeon Graphics and then you want to go to drive and update driver. Then you want to go to browse computer for drivers and then you want to go to browse again. And then here you want to go to have disk and then you want to hit browse. And then you should see the download right here all the way at the bottom. So you want to double click that and you want to hit open. So once you do so, hit OK. And then now you want to find this, the AMD 780 and graphics card. Make sure that you're clicking the exact one here. So once you do so, you see that the adrenaline software is updated. And you can see here, this is the Spider-Man game running. And you notice that you don't get that annoying notification in the beginning of the game. And as you can see here, this one does run pretty well with this update too. I have a comparison video coming up showcasing what it looks like with and without the update. So you guys stick around for that if you were interested. But yeah, just want to show you guys that there is a new update and show you guys how to install it. Let me know if you find this video helpful in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.